welcome back to episode 4 of my Porto Portugal travel series. Today we'll be getting brunch, we're going to be going on the famous Gaia cables and we're going to be prepping for our day trip to Sintra, Portugal. These cable cars offer beautiful views of the Douro River, the city of Porto and some of its wine cellars. If you didn't watch episode 1 to 3 where we came to Porto, had a full day in Porto and took a day trip to the Douro Valley, how you got here? Come back! <laughs> I'm not gonna make you guys wait any longer, so sit back and relax as we take a ride through the beautiful Portugal skies. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days. It is Saturday and we're headed to brunch. I have a feeling that we really love Zenith because we ended up there again. What is that? Ended up at Zenith again because we just presented the food. I'm gonna get something sweet this time, so we're gonna see how the sweet tastes. Last time, my husband and I tried their savory items, so we were going to get their sweet items this time. I got their Dulce de Lache pancakes, which was filled with strawberries, it had homemade granola, and it had ice cream. My husband, on the other hand, he got the mixed berry pancakes, which had blueberries, mixed berries, they had jam, they had lemon curd, and they had vanilla ice cream as well. For an add-on, I got eggs, and my husband got chicken, and we shared, and oh my goodness, that chicken was so good. I personally think that I preferred my sweet meal over my savory meal, so y'all let me know if y'all have ever been. Oh, and by the way, our first time to Zenith is in episode two, so if you want to go back and watch that, go right ahead. But if you are taking a trip to Porto, Portugal, I highly recommend Zenith. I think that it is definitely worth the hype, the atmosphere, the food, everything is a 10 out of 10. Also, the price range is about anywhere from 7 euros to about 13 euros. So, it's not going to break the bank. <laughs> so, I would highly recommend if you are in Porto. We're here again, guys. Maybe we'll actually make it on the cable car. Am I even in focus? Anyway, maybe we'll actually make it on the cable car this time. Gotta show y'all a little here. It's located in the Villa Nova de Gaia. In terms of getting there, you can take a taxi, a Uber, or you can take the Metro and get off at Jardin du Maro. Of course, this is being the main character. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys remember what happened the last time we tried to go on the Gaia cable cars, but if you didn't, let me remind you. <laughs> these hills ain't for the week. These hills ain't for the week, baby. I'm weak. Just embarrassing. Unfortunately, last time we were unable to make it to the Gaia cable cars because the weather was a hot mess. Just a pro tip, if you're interested in going, make sure to check the schedule beforehand. It's going to be on their website to make sure that they're open. We got our tickets there, so we didn't pre-purchase anything. If you want to pre-purchase, you can on their website. The ticket office is at the Bay Station at the Villa Nova de Gaia. Luckily, the office accepts both cash and cards, so if you only got card, you're going to be good. <laughs> We got our tickets and then we headed on the cable cars. I feel like I've been saying cable cars, cable cars, Gaia cable cars in all of these videos, but I didn't give you guys the breakdown of what exactly it is. I personally feel like the Gaia cable cars are the best way to view Porto from a different perspective. These cable cars were started in 2011 and they carry about eight people on them. It basically gives you this beautiful view of the city of Porto and you're up in the air for about five minutes. The time goes by so fast. I blinked and we were ready to the other side. So I would highly recommend having your camera in hand if you're interested in getting pictures. But I, listen, I am in love. Also, if you're anything like me and you sweat, they have AC in the cable cars, so if you go in the summer, don't worry about sweating. And last thing, they have a photographer there that takes a photo at the beginning of the ride and they develop your photo by the time you're at the end of the ride and you have the option to purchase your photo. So we ended up getting our photo for $10. Oh, 
and it came with this cute guidebook as well <laughs> of course I have to show you guys the book so this was the book that they gave us it says Porto and then it says Gaia because obviously we were in Villa Nova de Gaia period <laughs> and in the book they basically have like a map this is so bright okay there we go that's better I'm gonna read you guys a story <laughs> and they have different pictures with interesting information it comes in different languages so don't worry if you don't speak their language um, and I loved it but then at the back they have the slot for your picture I'm really trying so hard okay there we go so y'all could see this but they have a slot for your picture I hope my picture doesn't fade and disappear like the picture that I took in Cozumel but we're gonna talk about that a different day Are you happy? I'm very happy. It's so cold. It is cold. After the cable cars, it started to rain, the sun was setting, and it was cold. It was very cold, so we decided to get some hot chocolate from a vendor nearby. And after that, we took an Uber to go to dinner. Well, there's Jimmy, guys. Seems to be really enjoying himself. You know what I love for that? Him. What? <laughs> Once you get off the cable cars, though, you will end up in Villa Nova de Gaia. And that is a really cute area that you can explore. They have different things that you can do. Also, the Dom Louis Bridge is nearby. It's a famous bridge in Porto that people walk about all the time. So if you want to take a nice cute stroll with your boo or with your friends, you can do that as well. All by yourself. All by yourself. So Camden got the passion fruit Fanta. Thank you. I Oh, well you figured it out. Good job. Yeah. No, so like guys, they got their my, my hot chocolate. What did you say yeah. it's called? Yeah. Chocolate Quinte. Okay, Miss Portuguese. Per. For dinner we went to Asia Connection and I'll be honest with you guys this was not our favorite spot in Porto. The menu only had a few items to choose from so I just feel like the selection wasn't there. The food taste also wasn't there in my opinion so I will not be recommending this place for you guys to go but if you're interested you can still go and try it out and let me know if they were good because I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that night the menu was limited and maybe that night the food just wasn't giving what it needed to give. So if you guys ever go, let me know in the comments how it was. In preparation for our day trip to Sintra, we ended up going to this really cute and quaint bookstore. I think it was called Bertrand something 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 that I cannot pronounce and will not be pronouncing and we ended up looking for books that we could read on this long three-hour trip that we had the next day and I was so happy with the book I got it was so cute I'm making him choose which one I should get he's reading it for me being in a bookshop makes me so happy I used to read books like crazy now I've not read books in forever but I'm gonna get one because we have a long long um Bus ride tomorrow. I know what to the bottom. What you got to know about? Is it you? No, it's me. Oh, it's Yeah, you didn't show us what you got. Oh, I got this book. Benita, show us again, girl. Show us again. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Hey. I got this book I was looking for at the other one, but they didn't have it. Okay, so show us. It's nice. about Zorro, so okay. I have a nice little coffee table book. We flip through, there's pictures. I love that. Yeah. Nice. So it'll Perfect. Live, oh, It'll live at your house. But you got it from here. Nice. Yes. Okay. So guys, like a few days ago, Maya decided to make the us breakfast when we were supposed to make breakfast for our spouse. So she inspired me. It's literally like 5 a.m. But she inspired me to be good and make breakfast for the house too. And that's how doing a good deed gets you places. Right, Benita? Right. <laughs> so there we go. We got our eggs. And I'm going to go get ready. So yeah, we're going to Central today. She's nice and hot. Mm. 
so we are at the bus station because we are headed to Central today and I'm so excited about it because look at the fit y'all like I'm in a full dress and I'm just hoping it doesn't be as cold because I would literally freeze to death and we don't want that this dress the crew is dressed to impress you know we have nice a nice 10 out of 10 and we have the red pants and the shoes per don't don't get your shoes there then we have madam she is giving so dramatic per love that for her now oh, oh don't do that girl then we have benita madam okay she's so pretty oh my god <laughs> In the next episode, we're going to be going on a day trip to Central Portugal. <laughs> I'll be taking you through the cost of everything, how we got there, and we're going to be visiting this beautiful castle called Punta da Regularia. I'm sure I messed up that name, but that's okay. And it's known for its beautiful initiation well, so I'm so excited for that. If you didn't know, I'm your favorite travel vlogger, Eudasia, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And if you didn't watch episode one, two, three, then go ahead and do that right now. Okay, bye guys. Mm -hmm. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days.